Hi guys. So today's video is going to be about seed starting here in Zone 9. Um, there's not a lot of information that I found online about seed starting outdoors in trays uh, in Florida. Um, there is a lot of information on seed starting, but it is, you know, uh, mostly about seed starting indoors and in colder climates uh, under grow lights and um, with more equipment than what I have. So I um, picked up some trays from the Dollar Tree that you'll see in a minute and bought a few seed packets because I thought, well, it's not going to cost me that much to experiment and see if I can be successful at starting some seeds um, because I have a large area here in the backyard that I want to cover eventually uh, in flowers. So um, I'm gonna give it a go and uh, see if anything comes up and then um, from there transplanting out into the yard and see if the seedlings will um, become successful. So anyway, um, come with me on this journey. I'm going to pre-moisten some seed starting soil, put it in the trays, and um, and then plant the seeds and cover with just a little bit of soil. Um, some of the things I've seen online, they um, sow the seeds and then they do not cover with soil, they cover with some vermiculite, but I don't have any of that either. So I'm just gonna use what I got and uh, see if I can um, have any success. So uh, thank you for coming along on this journey with me and let's get started sowing some seeds. Here is the seed starting mix I got. It is um, by Miracle Grow, And I have that over here in this container and I'm working on pre-moistening the soil so that I don't have to apply that much water once I get the seeds in the trays. And here is a look at what I'm going to plant today. I have some coleus, black eyes Susan vine, a pink zinnia, a green zinnia, more black eyed Susan, a dahlia mix, and some cosmos. I also have some sunflowers to start, but I think I'm going to do that a little bit later. I have uh, some ranunculus too, and um, I want to try that a little bit differently. One, because I've never done it, and two, because I have no idea what I'm doing. But uh, it is pretty fascinating to see these little seeds go into the soil, and if anything comes up, I think I'm going to be tickled pink. But on the containers, I wrote the uh, days to germination and the days to bloom. Just as a reminder, obviously I'm not going to get blooms out of this container. Uh, I will move them before we get to that point, but at least I can see what the germination um, time frame is. So that hopefully, if I don't see anything happening um, within that time frame, I'll know. And then once I move them out into the garden, I can then um, transfer the bloom days ranges. Uh, to whatever marker I use in the garden. So we'll see how things go. Okay, progress update. This is day five. 
and just from the surface level it doesn't appear anything's going on but I happen to be watering tonight and look what I found a few seedlings popping up here and this tray is my cosmos with the 5 to 14 day germination rate. So we are at day five from planting. And I found one more little sprout over here. This guy right there. And this one is the lime zinnia with a 5 to 10 day germination. So I hope that. Tomorrow I will see some more popping up, but I'll keep you updated. This is exciting. Day six from planting and I see some more sprouts. This tray has a little green coming up and this one is the dahlia with a five to ten day germination. And let's see. Um, looking this is the green zinnias and there's quite a few sprouts up and this tray should be the pink and there's a few seedlings in here as well let me just check to make sure that's right yeah the pink zinnia has some seedlings as well i'm still waiting on my coleus here and the black-eyed susan vine and the black-eyed Susan. Yep. So hopefully those will appear in a few days as well. And we are now at eight days past planting and I found one more tiny green speck right here and this is my black-eyed Susan's with a germination rate of 10 to 14 days. So they're a little bit early. And the Black Eyed Susan Vine here and the Coleus, which are both 10 to 15 days, still have not popped up yet. But I'm going to wrap it up for this video and I can give a progress again later as the seedlings continue to grow. Uh, but the Cosmos is just thriving over here. Lots of little seedlings have popped up and they are growing. This is the Dahlia mix and this is the Lime Zinnia and the Pink who is a little bit behind. I hope some more of those pop up. But uh, anyway, I'm actually very excited that I got anything to pop up. So. I will continue this journey and hopefully have lots of flowers to plant out into this large massive backyard sometime soon. I have a lot of space to fill. I'm not even sure how I will manage that yet but I just wanted to try to start some things from seed so that I could have a little bit more of an economical approach. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful evening. God bless.